kita akan teruskan ke picks and band untuk kedua-dua squad. Untuk bos pusha mereka memilih untuk membuang Grok dan juga Helcut manakala Kiloja squad memilih untuk buang Kufra, Kufra Kaja. dan juga Kaja. I mean we did see how effective uh, Russia's Kaja was yeah. earlier so menakutkan yes, Kaja dia menakutkan even Gunevia can't do anything about yeah. it dan Kimi. sekali lagi Kimi telah pun dipick oleh tapi kali ini Kimi dipick oleh bos Pusha. Tadi Kimi I I dare not imagine how scary this Kimi can get. I mean look at the Lunox uh, earlier yeah. that was played by B1. Aha. Uh-huh. Oh. We lost we lost sound. <laughs> <laughs> we lost sound. Hello. Check check hello. Hello. Uh, okay. Your team is picking. Esmeralda. Metri habis. Okay. Haha. Bagi mat, bagi mat. Cho, Leo Mord. Your team is picking. Kali buat kali yang kedua. Hey. Okay, so kita dapat tengok dekat sini uh, untuk bos pusha mereka memilih untuk ada Kimi, Leomot dan juga Cho. Manakala tim Killer Joe Squad memilih untuk ada Lunox, Esmeralda, Akai dan juga Cloud. Yay, Esmeralda. Aha. Let's go Esmeralda. Hello, hello. Okay, okay, we are back. Okay, we're back. Okay. So. Oh, <laughs> Tigril. We have Tigril with Boss Pusher. Aha. Uh-huh. That's Tig- the first. That's the first uh, Tigril we will be having for this uh, grand finals right here. Yeah. That's it. Daripada that's daripada semalam. Minutes daripada semalam rasanya tak ada lagi Tigril lagi kata saya rasanya. Tak ada. Tak ada lagi. Tak ada. It's this is the first uh, Tigril pick. Uh, like like you mentioned earlier that uh, Boss Pusher does have very unique lineup yeah. when they play. And uh, I mean we've known the core members of Team Boss Crew. They mm-hmm. they are no stranger to picking outrageous lineup. Yeah. Mereka ya yeah, pilihan-pilihan uh, lineup lineup hero yang dipilih oleh Boss Pusher agak menarik sebenarnya. Yes. Yang mana uh, kita boleh cakap line up yang jarang diambil. Yes, exactly. Huh? Uh, I will never forget Fredo's uh, Moskov pick actually. That oh. was quite surprising. And Ta- they did pull it off. Tapi pada saya Fredo dan juga Alucard dia pun agak oh, menarik. That one is uh, is you don't have to question that, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, kita kembali ke match kita antara Boss Pusher dan juga Killer Joe Squad. We have Boss Fisher on the blue side and All also Killer Joe deployed. Squad on the right, which is the red team. And we can see right here once again, you know, Kimi will be going down with Tigril where Selena will be accompanied by Cho. And Esmeralda once again will be assisted by Minotaur in the top lane. And it looks like Lunox will face a little bit of trouble right here and gets First taken down by one. Selena. First blood. And they will try to bring Akai, but they will not uh, overcome it this time. Nampaknya mereka tak boleh tamak kat sini. Dan uh, harassment dibuat di buff, di mid lane, buat team Killer Joe Squad yang mana Boss Pusher uh, memberikan memberikan tekanan dekat situ dengan mengambil buff mereka. Just, just look at the rotation, you know, it's one minute in and Boss Pusher is uh, not giving any chance at all. Look at the aggression that they are doing all over the map right now. How deep they are diving into the enemy's jungle. How aggressive the middle lane. Once again, Lunox gets taken down by uh, Lacia right here. Akai, there's nothing that he can do. Would it be, I think what uh, would be... But effective for Killer Joe squad right here, they need to be uh, more active in map rotation. And we can see, look at this Kimi. No chance given at all. Tak ada. Tak bagi peluang langsung untuk Cloud. Uh, 
menghabiskan wave minion di bottom lane itu. Ah nampaknya B1. Oh nampaknya dekat sini. Nah. Hei, berjaya dia menyelamatkan diri. Tapi berjaya atau tidak, tidak sama sekali. Tekobanlah dan uh, tekobanlah Cloud di bottom lane hasil daripada Kimi dan juga Tigrin. Yep, we will have a pause right here called by Boss Pusher mm -hmm. and uh, we will just give them a moment to sort out the things but okay look at the Kimi that was it is, is being played right now we are only two minutes into the game yeah. and uh, how different Kimi is being handled in the first game and the second game yeah. in the second game there was just, it's just so much of aggression from the very beginning mm -hmm. and we will return to the game right now Turtle is up and it looks like, look at the rotation of uh, Asperada and Minotaur and they will bring down Lunox once again. Dan sekali lagi, Lunox terkorban begitu sahaja di mid lane. Tiga kali sudah Lunox terkorban dekat situ. Hasil daripada gabungan Chow dan juga Selena. Adakah Esmeralda mampu untuk bertahan dekat sini? Tetapi Mino berkemungkinan besar akan terkorban dekat situ. Tapi dia berjaya melarikan diri dan dia terpaksa untuk recall dan recover balik Yang kita dapat tengok dekat sini Boss Pusher memilih untuk mendapatkan turtle Di bottom lane Nampak gayanya ada siapa-siapa ke yang berani untuk kacau turtle ni Sempat lagi kacau you know while taking turtle down She will get the last hit right here And there's really nothing that Killer Joe Squad can do at this point But they really need to work on your rotation They get Caught once again, Selena goes on a killing spree. This is a total disaster for Killer Joe Squad right here. And Kimi gets another kill. Akai goes down and they still want more blood. They will try to bring down Minotaur but failed to do so. And Esmeralda just stood by the side, watching away one by one get taken off the map. Kita tengok kat sini kombinasi antara Tigreal dan juga Selena. Oh, stun terkena kepada Esmeralda dan Esmeralda bakal terkorban dekat sini Mega kill diberikan kepada Selena Selena telah pun di shutdown oleh Lunox Pembalasan dendam the buat right Lunox Selena got punished uh, for killing so many right? So I think sometimes aggression We need to be a little more careful about it Lunox did uh, get her revenge Ya yeah, nampak kayaknya Lunox dia membalas dendam lah dekat situ kita boleh cakap <laughs> Banyak sangat kau dah kill aku tadi kali ni aku pula yang kill kau Dan yes. kita tengok kat situ oh Akai cuba untuk masuk kombinasi antara empat hero Dan Kimi terkorban begitu sahaja Leomot cuba mencari peluang dekat sini Oh ulti dibukakan ke oleh Leomot Wah Lunox terkorban dekat situ begitu juga dengan Akai Dan Minotaur turut terkorban dekat sini Oh, Chow berjaya mendapatkan Esmeralda. Esmeralda cuba melarikan diri. Tapi Esmeralda turut terkorban. Cloud hanya mampu untuk melarikan diri daripada membantu tim dia dekat situ. Kalau dia masuk pun berkemungkinan besar dia akan terkorban. Ah, Chow cuba untuk masuk. Tapi hanyalah poking yang dilakukan. Dia tengok Tigreal. Cuba untuk mengganggu Cloud di belakang tadi. There's there's really nothing that Claude can do, and he's gonna get punished for being aggressive right there. They will initiate another fight. Lunox goes straight to rush and brings down Chow in this bloody bloody war. It looks like they're gonna get more this time around. Mega kill. Mega kill diberikan kepada Kaiser menggunakan Leomot itu tadi sangat agresif dan agak mudah ada kat situ untuk Kaiser menghabiskan Akai. Night in shining armor indeed with the unicorn ride going around. They will try to uh, secure turtle right here. They still they still pretty much uh, focus on the objectives. They get the kill, they win the wars, they initiate, but still uh, the focus on objective gaming is very consistent right here. Yeah, kita dapat tengok dekat sini mereka melakukan diversion dan juga split push dalam masa yang sama. Ini adalah wow nampaknya di sini. Cloud terkorban begitu saja hasil gabungan daripada Chow dan juga Selena Tak mampu untuk Cloud melakukan apa-apa Akai terkena stun dekat situ Dan Akai membukakan ulti menghalang Leomot daripada terus maju Tapi satu hit saja daripada Leomot Minion Fury dibuka mengganggu Leomot daripada terus bergerak Tetapi damage yang diberikan oleh Leomot amatlah menyakitkan Esmeralda mampu ke untuk dia bertahan dan berpatah balik Nampaknya dia berjaya untuk lari daripada 
Captain Kaman Leomoy. It was just the three of them from our boss pusher and they managed to scare Killer Joe's squad so far off while Kimi and Tigre was actually split pushing. Mm. And look at the creep waves at this point, you know. They, they, they have been maintaining, sustaining really well. They make, they make sure they get their buffs, you know, the jungle. They yeah. do try to deplete the economy for Killer Joe's squad right here. And at the same time, it's just amazing how they're pulling this off Even though they have so many poking heroes by Killer Joe's squad Chow comes in and gets Lunox straight away No chance given, Akai comes in with his ult And it looks like he will go down, he gets punished Dan dengan mudah sekali Killer Joe's squad menjadi korban kepada boss pusher Amat menyakitkan Amat menyakitkan uh, damage yang diterima oleh uh, Killer Joe Squad dekat sini uh, Chow sekali lagi cuba untuk mencari cloud Tapi tidak berjaya di situ Oh Chow masuk kembali Tapi dia tak berjaya mendapatkan kill Dia terbunuh di situ Dia dapat tengok Tigreal menerima damage yang agak sakit di situ uh, Leomot cuba untuk masuk uh, Legendary diberikan kepada Leomot dekat situ Terkorbannya Seko Panda Dan juga Kill yang kedua berjaya didapatkan oleh Kimi Dan tower di top lane bakal tumbang dengan mudah sekali dekat situ Dan sekarang ini hanyalah tinggal Cloud dan juga Lunox untuk mempertahankan base mereka Tetapi tak mampu untuk Lunox melakukan apa-apa Dan Lunox berjaya mendapatkan Leomot Mengorbankan Leomot mem Memaksa Leomot untuk berehat selama 20 saat and Cloud, uh, he, he's just, he just got melted away by Kimi right there Got punished for his decision to jump in thinking that he could get a kill But he is sorely mistaken Let's hope that they do try to make a comeback in countering Look at Team Boss Pusher They're always in position, ready for another war Picking out one by one Look at Esperalda She's so tanky, she's so strong and yet there's nothing that she could do Ya, Rush cuba untuk mendapatkan Esmeralda kat situ Tapi Esmeralda berjaya melarikan diri Dan uh, Rush hanyalah mencuit sahaja And boss pusher doesn't exactly uh, They poke, you know, they initiate something But it does, uh, they don't really go on a full war Unless they are ready for it And also at the same time they do keep in mind that the objective Say yeah. Lord is coming, they're just gonna push them back a bit Chow comes in, secures another kill, Esmeralda goes down just like that And as I was saying, Esmeralda once she gets disabled, she's She's pretty much, you know, she just melts away Yeah Dengan mudah sekali dia Dia uh, di, di, di matikan, dia di Dihapuskan dengan mudah bila uh, Crowd control yang diberikan dekat situ Stun diberikan Unstoppable buat Kimi Leomot cuba untuk masuk dekat situ Menarik keluar Minotaur Akai cuba untuk masuk Mengganggu Leomot Tapi damage yang diterima oleh Akai Amalan menyakitkan dekat sini Dan Tigris cuba untuk menyedut Mengorbankan Mino dan juga Cloud Tak mampu untuk Killer Joe Squad Menahan base mereka Dan ini membuatkan Boss Pusher Memenangi round yang kedua ini Huge congratulations to Boss Pusher for making it through I think Killer Joe squad uh, They have decent draft, you know, yeah. lineup But in terms of execution and countering strategies They still have a lot to learn right there Like Esmeralda could have poked a lot mm -hmm. To be honest, Esmeralda uh, is a great annoyance in the yeah. game so what I noticed was that uh, it seems like there was a communication breakdown and they, they are very scattered Yeah. And uh, when Lunox got taken down again and again and still we don't see uh, map rotation at that point yeah. And they just dived in right back to their mistake again and again Yeah, macam, macam kita dapat tengok uh, Satu uh, strategi yang dilakukan oleh Boss Pusher kat sini Diorang berjaya menjatuhkan Lunox the early game three, three times in a row in the same place In the same initiation In the same war Baru saja hidup dan terus mati Yes, yeah, so I the you, 
you already know where your mistake is, you know, for the first time. And then the second time, that's when you, they are already aiming for you at that point. And usually at that phase of the game, you just want to focus on the creep wave. You want to focus on the jungle. Mm. But if I can kill you in a, three times in a row, that's free money for me. So why not? Yeah. But if you know that is your disadvantage, uh, map rotation, that that's not working out. You got to change that immediately and figure something out that will work for you. I would have put probably Esmeralda in the middle to try to poke Selena, you know, try to move around, rotate a little bit. Mm. Uh, Akai also wasn't very effective in the middle lane going. Again.